In this tutorial, we'll be covering the JSON API integration with Snatchbot. Now, the JSON API is a great way to import custom content from your own resources. So here's how you get started. First, select My Bots from the left-hand menu, and then select the chatbot that you wish to edit, in this case, HealthBud. The first thing you'll need to do is to add a new JSON interaction, which you can do by selecting Add New Interaction, selecting JSON API, naming it, and selecting Add. So as you can see here, that's created this new interaction. Now there are a few things that you need to add to get started. First is the URL of your API address, just for a sample, oh, that's right, your api.com, and the error response that would be generated. Now, once this is done, you should see a status 200 with no errors. This can be checked with a GUI platform. Here's an example of what would look like for an error response. And here's an example of what you'd see for a functioning successful status. As you can see, big difference. So when you create an interaction, it sends a request to your API using post with the fault with a structure of bot ID, which is the one interaction that it's connected to user ID, and that connects the, partic the person participating with the conversation. And it can vary depending on channel. It can contain things like letters, numbers, symbols, the module ID, which represents the one sending the request, the channel type, such as text chat, Facebook Messenger, Slack, etc., and incoming message, which shows a previous message sent by a user that triggered the actual start to the API. Now, of those, the mandatory fields are the bot ID, user ID, and the module ID, and all of those are taken from the request. Now, once the request has been sent to the API, the JSON response will be received on what to show the user. Now, it has a specific structure, first relying on message, suggested replies, blocked input, and cards. Now, here's an example of a JSON API what it would actually look like. Now, text cards are cards that contain any combination of text, buttons, input fields. There are also image cards that can just contain an image with no buttons or other inputs, or gallery cards that can contain combinations of text, speech, images, buttons, and input fields. These are known as rich cards, and this is where you can do your editing. As you can see, they're broken up into different things like text card, image card, gallery, and various different things that you can set. Now, keep in mind that there are also some specific values that need to be followed. For example, for text card, it'll only display up to 640 characters, and the image card has to be generated with the URL. And for the gallery, the value has to remain as gallery. And it'll then have a sub of sub cards. Now, every card type does have buttons except for image type. And each button will have things like the type, which is the button type, the value, which would be the content, and finally, the button's title, which can only be 20 characters. There are four different types of buttons. The first is the module that triggers an interaction. You should always specify its ID in the button type. Next is the URL, which switches to the specified link in the button type a phone, which triggers a phone call to the specified number or share, which only works with Facebook, but opens its sharing dialog. So here's a look at the API implementation. Now the Snatchbot support page does have a little bit more information on this specific part that you can dig into. Now, one other thing that you can do with the JSON API is to connect it to attribute extraction if you want to pull attributes and store them on your own server. Now that's relatively simple to do. As you can see, we're already here and you can simply select the attributes that are generated 
and you can send them with that. So as you can see, API with JSON is very, very powerful, yet relatively simple to use if you know your way around APIs. So with that, I hope you're well on your way to getting this feature up and running.